Today, guys, we're going to talk about big nipples, small nipples, long nipples, short nipples, hard nipples, soft nipples, and any other nipples you can think of. And if you want to see my uncensored nipples, go to my Patreon page. Just kidding. I don't have a Patreon page. Okay, here's a common problem that most plumbers have run into. Uh, they, need a, they need a short nipple. We're talking pipe nipples now. They need a short nipple and there's no way to make it. And the old school way is to take a coupling, thread one side of a nipple, put it in, let it bottom out on the threads, and then they can work this side. The trouble is, is they just tighten themselves into the coupling so tight, they just destroy the nipple getting it back out. So they use lock nuts and all kinds of uh, crazy setups trying to make very short nipples. The trouble with the short nipple is you end up, after you've threaded one side, cut off your piece, you just have to chuck up on your threads and you just absolutely destroy the threads. So today we've got, um, it's a rigid, um, this is a number 819. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this uh, chuck in the vise and demonstrate how all these different uh, attachments work in a single nipple chuck. This is called a nipple chuck. I can't make this stuff up. So let me get you zoomed in on the vise and uh, we're gonna go through this thing, how it works. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the machine and duplicate that. That is a two inch close nipple. So that's thread to thread, nothing in between. As, as you can see, there'd be no way I could chuck up here and have to be able to cut this thread after doing one side. So we're going we're gonna to make this thing or duplicate it over on the machine after we're done. Let's get you zoomed in on this and uh, see what this is all about. Okay, now this device gets chucked up in the regular jaws. It's got a... Uh, got a tool for installing your various face pieces and you know what let's say uh, let's do half inch the key to the whole thing is this little insert right here for half and three quarter you pop that guy in and it's got a raised surface and let's take one inch for instance and we would put this in here and that traps that little insert I just put in there use your wrench that is supplied with your uh, 819 and then your uh, then a little close nipple can thread in there and now instead of bottoming out on the threads it bottoms out on that little insert I just put in there and as as you thread it's going to tighten itself in but it's got a cam lock here we simply release and thread our part out so it, it bottoms out before it bottoms out on the back side before it bottoms out on the threads and tightens on the threads. So you use this cam lock to release and you've got yourself a close nipple. It's got a protruded nose so we can do, uh, um, you know, so our dies can come in and make those cuts right up to the face. Now that's how you do half inch. And I thought this was pretty ingenious when, you know, when I got into it. When you switch over to uh, So insert with protrusion out is half inch and three quarter, half inch and three quarter share a thread pitch. As soon as you flip over to one inch, just take this guy and flip it around. And uh, you pick your one inch holder. And now you've got a, now you got a one inch nipple that'll thread into that. Now one inch all the way to two inch uh, shares a thread pitch. So now we've tightened into here, but just to loosen up, we just snap the cam lock loose, thread your nipple out. When you get into the larger sizes, let's say we go to uh, two inch. You know, this is what we're gonna demonstrate is a two inch nipple. You actually don't need that thread insert at all. Your two inch nipple is going to go straight in, no adapters required, it's going to go straight in and it's going to bottom out in the back. There's a, there's a permanent uh, stopper in the back. You know, I'm tightening that down pretty good, but when I release here, my, my nipple's free to come out. So we're, see, we're, we're tight there, no movement, as soon as I release that cam. Now we're loose and we can pull out. 
And remember, we're working with tapered threads here, so this is actually pretty, pretty ingenious. All right, let's go put it in the machine, get this guy uh, duplicated. I need one of these. Now, the economics of it are, this is pretty interesting. You know, you, you, can, you can literally buy this for a couple of bucks. So the economics of it are, don't stand there and make close nipples if you don't need to. Uh, but it's going to save you a trip to the hardware store, it's going to save you a trip to the plumbing supply, whatever. If you need one, don't have one, this is a wonderful thing to have and that you can just make a nipple in a pinch, you know. So uh, we've got all kinds of nipples we can play with today. Uh, let's go put it in the machine and put this to practice. Okay, we're going to start out with just a plain piece of pipe. It's raw, it's not even threaded, and we're just going to cut and thread as normal. This is what we're going to duplicate. Uh, this is a two inch nipple, two inches long, and it's two inch NPT. But we're going to duplicate that, so we're just going to deburr, cut and thread as normal. Okay, so we've, uh, we've deburred, we've faced, and we've threaded. Uh, when I say faced, if your deburring tool raised any burrs right here, uh, knock them down with a file, make sure you've got a nice flat surface out here on the end. Uh, it's pretty important when it goes into the nipple chuck that it's got a nice flat surface to sit on. Uh, next stop is to cut, and we're just going to cut this off at 2 inch to uh, match this guy. Uh, we're going to use the onboard here, and uh, let's get it done. Okay, now we need to complete this operation. Uh, we need to deburr, we need to thread, and uh, hold it. You know, they, we can't possibly do it with this chuck. Uh, these things have serrated jaws, and it'll just clamp down on these threads and absolutely destroy them. And because uh, and, you'd be holding clear out here, just threads. So let's get the nipple chuck in and uh, finish up this uh, pipe nipple. Okay, you've got a three-sided back, pretty easy to chuck up. And no chance of it slipping, you know. You put it in the jaws of the uh, rigid. And this is the knocker type uh, chuck here in the back. Uh, so it's bit down on that really well. Uh, the, the tool, uh, we don't need to use an insert for this because this is a two inch nipple. So you just remove all. You don't need the insert in the middle that I showed you before. And uh, the tool is, there's your cam lock right there. And we're going to take our nipple here and just thread it in so it bottoms and now we're clear see the the hole in the center is clear and we can come in with a deburring tool and as we start deburring it's going to tighten in there and the threading is going to really tighten in there so let's get it deburred <laughs> Now you have an oily mess. But what we're going to do is we're going to release that cam, and now the cam has kind of tightened itself in there, and you can you can feel the pressure on the wrench, give it a good hard crack, and to release that cam, 
then your nipple just threads right out. And there you have it. And uh, this is what we duplicated right here. So that's how a nipple chuck works, and uh, it'll add to the versatility of your machine that is a rigid 819.